This is just like a dream world for me. You know, we had to wear Tibetan robes and we went on horseback up to some really perilous uh, kind of place which is well known now. It was called Tiger's Nest. It was actually destroyed in a, some kind of earthquake. And then they rebuilt it. But in those days, it was where a famous a guru from India, Padma Sambhava, flew to Tibet on the back of a tiger and landed there and then introduced his form of Buddhism, of Vajrayana, into Tibet. And this is like being back in the Middle Ages, this place. It was quite extraordinary. And we went out of the palace into the dirt road, street, and suddenly I heard this screaming and ululating. And I looked and I believe me, there must have been hundreds, hundreds of wild looking tribesmen. And they really looked wild out there with earrings and daggers and guns charging towards us. And I thought, for Christ, this is it. You know, this, this is, you know, they really look wild and savage, these people. And Drumpu was just, Standing like this, I thought, well, we've got to run, you know, and he was just... And they came towards, well, literally towards, within a yard of us, charging as fast as they could, screaming. And when they got about a yard away from Trumpa, they all bowed down. And Trumpa very touched each one on the head, you know, that's what they wanted him to touch on the head which was totally an eye-opener for me, because I had, I had no awareness of oh, he, that he was regarded as some kind of holy saint out there, with tremendous respect, unlike what we behaved towards him in Scotland, which is just like a friend. Um, but it's such a Amazing blessing to be in with Trumpa and to have met these people by virtue of my association with Trumpa, because otherwise I wouldn't have. At such a young age, also. Uh, Trumpa introduced me, and we stayed for a while with in Runtik uh, Monastery, which was a monastery of the Kamapa. Um, and he was such a jovial, kind person. And um, he gave me a, a Tibetan name, which I still keep kind of to myself, but it's very precious to me. <laughs> 